tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. I have a folder on my iPad called Apps of the Week. I wonder what could be in it. Let's go and check it out. Our first app this week is Trickle, a word that makes many people uncomfortable. Like damp or moist or quivering or throbbing? I'm gonna stop. You should keep going, this is good. I'm gonna stop. It's better than Trickle. Uh, Trickle just takes stuff from your Twitter feed and posts it in a large font. I guess if you used your iPad as a picture frame or something, this would be moderately awesome. Um, as a person who uses Twitter to do things and talk to people, not so much. So what happens if you actually click a link? Does it open Safari? Oh, you just can't click it. Awesome. You Trickle. can reply though. Hold to re- oh no, oh I don't want to retweet. <laughs> Yeah, this is a bad app. Don't buy this. It sucks. This is the daily. Man, this is a big deal. They actually announced that this and morning. Event. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, Mur uh, News Corp. Rupert Murdoch. Yeah, he's Australian. Uh, it's a free app for the first two weeks, sponsored yes, by Verizon. Verizon is paying for and that. basically, uh, I think every day uh, they put out a digest of news stories. Uh, sports news, gossip, and wow, look how slow this is. This is the anchor interface, which requires you be on Wi-Fi, actually loads all the documents at once. Otherwise, actually streams the text so the app doesn't take so long to load. So here is the uh, the first cover, already outdated. It was outdated before they went live. Yeah. So that, you say it's slow, the interface is slow, it's slow to load. Um, when you first start it in the day, it downloads the news, and that takes a long time too, even on really good internet. Uh, but the larger problem is that they it seems like they only are going to update daily, which by the time this story was up and the app was live this morning, this was yesterday or the day before yesterday's news. So the big advantage that this thing might have, I mean, there's all the typical interactive features. You got video, there are games, um, and you know, crazy scroll, 360 panoramas in this app. But the big advantage is that because it's such a big deal, like Apple and News Corp, they're both News Corp, they're pushing this pretty hard. A lot of people might be downloading this, so it could be a touchstone for uh, app, iPad users. It, I, I don't think it's going to be, though. Maybe, maybe moms and pops. I could see moms and pops liking this a lot. And there are ads. Yeah, the Wonderful. nice thing is the ads are really slow to load, so you can tell. Um, the writing in this has actually been pretty good. I spent some time reading reading articles this morning. They're interesting and well-written. Navigation is a horrible problem because there's no TOC that's kind of universal. And in order to actually get, like, like this is the TOC for this arts and life section. There are two things you can click on, but there's like 10 or 12 articles in here. And the only way to get to them is by scrolling. Yeah, which you look at the top bar, like, I'm getting stinky. closer to the arts and life section. No, I'm getting closer to the apps and game section, but not really know where but I it's, am. It's just slow. I mean, it's 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 lots slow. Uh, you can share stuff on Twitter by going to this share button. I mean, I guess it's kind of neat. I don't see myself using for this. I definitely wouldn't pay 99 cents a week for it or whatever it is they're gonna charge. Yeah, 99 cents a week um, or I think $40 a year. The other big goofy thing is the articles are, um, it's a very kind of print modality where you have to kind of scroll side to side to see pages. Unlike say the Wired app where you uh, scroll into new articles and then once you're in an article, then you it's a vertical kind of more uh, you know, web browser-y reading format, which I, I actually prefer. I still like Flipboard. Frogs! Norm, have you ever dissected a frog? I have. It was gross, and this does not make me very comfortable. Oh, how long before I puke? What are you going to do with this frog? This poor, poor frog. Are you going to cut it open? I got to pin it first. Oh. This is going through the whole process. So this is a nice way to dissect a frog. If there you're is a kid no in nice school. way to dissect a frog. Well, no, no frogs were harmed in the dissecting of this frog. How right do they know here. what's inside the frog? Research. They killed many frogs. There's a this great frog apocalypse every year. Oh, I gotta marker it first. This is an amateur move. Wait, you did this in class? I was talking about dissecting a frog like. Did you not ever backyard. dissect frogs in class? No, I did it on my free time by the lake. That's sick there, Dexter. Uh, so I'm, oh, I'm scissors. incisoring. I use those scissors for knitting and stuff. You do not use those scissors for knitting. That's a lie. So this you is just like, like uh, audio instructions. Yeah. Uh, this is j basically just like that uh, that medical simulator for DS. And so is the entire app just this one dissection? What happens after you finish? Right. Are there other animals you could dissect? I just saw does, that there was an app frog about frog dissecting, and stuff that was as far as I got, I'll be honest. All right, so we're basically giving oh, away the cut. whole app. Is this a free app or a paid app? This is like five bucks. It's okay. on sale right now. Uh, I mean, basically, this is an educational app. Unless you're Dexter or something and want to really get into it. I don't know why you're using force oh, of Oh, guts! Frog guts! 
Guts! There are guts there. What am I doing? I'm supposed to grab stuff and things. Take out the oh. heart, take no, out no, the no, heart. I gotta, I gotta do the head flaps. This is the head part at which flaps. most people started barfing when I was in biology class in oh, high school. The part where most people started barfing is when they squeezed the frog and the eyes popped out, and some kid put his finger in the mouth afterward. Gross! Uh, this is a fantastic segment so far, but this is out if you're into dissecting things, but don't- Tear the legs off, tear the legs off! This isn't about maiming the animals, this is about respecting the animal. This frog <laughs> gave his life so you can see his gallbladder. There's no respect here. Look, intestines! Let's go back out to the menu and see what's in there. Ooh, internal organs 3D. Oh my god. Oh, this wonderful. Is, what, it's not Phoenix Wright, it's what's the other, what's the, what's the um, Ace Trauma. Ventura? No, uh, I don't know. This is pretty cool. I like this app a lot. I highly endorse it. Okay, so this is Hamlet 3D, but it's not really 3D. I think it's just called Hamlet HD, actually. Uh, and the premise is that you are a time traveler who has gone back in time and accidentally squished uh, Hamlet what, was before Hamlet, he like, was able to do infant? the things from the play. You killed Hamlet. You, Hamlet, Hamlet. Oh my God, you killed Hamlet. I really dig the art style and I like puzzle games and I like adventure games. This one is not a particularly good representative of any of those things because the puzzles aren't really puzzles as much as they're just like, you have to click a bunch of shit until something happens. So Machinarium, this is not. Whatever that game is I don't think Machinarium was really that way either, but I didn't like that game either. Maybe I'm just dumb is the alternative. So I have to get into the Polonium Castle here. I'm gonna do that by tapping on that. Uh, the sun's gonna come out. Okay, go away, sun. Oh, there's a bird. Make the bird come over here. This is good so far. This seems incredibly easy. A child can do this. Well, the difficulty ramps up pretty quickly, let me tell you. So that's gonna make this plant grow, and now the bird's gonna, oh, nope. I like how it's called Hamlet, and yet nothing here says Hamlet. Well, Hamlet lived in the Polonium Castle, right? Anyway, um, oh no. Hold on, let's wait until the clue box fills in and I will show you the clue. Bird, why won't you take the fucking seed out of that flower? I hate this bird, it's a dick. Hurry up. I can't take this much fun. Wait, oh God, something happened. There's the seed. Bird, go over there. Okay, the bird goes over here. I fire the seed up there. The bird eats the seed. We gotta go back to rain mode. Oh, I gotta scare the bird so that the bird drops the seed. This is all perfectly intuitive and puzzly. You yeah, can oh my the god. Ladder. Why do you care whether or not this bird. Because I have to have seed. the seed in order to make the ladder so I can go into the building, which just happened, and I missed the clue. Oh, wait, there's the clue. Seed, bird, loud, water. That makes perfect sense to me. The <laughs> next, right. this, please tell me that yes. this app roundup ends on a high note. This is the best game I've played so far this week. Okay, uh, good. This game is called Dungeon Raid. Uh, Twitter user Svompson, S. Svompson, recommended it. It looks like Bejeweled or Puzzle Quest or something like that. It is not at all, because you make lines between the shit you need to connect. Um, basically, your goal is to kill these monsters and to fill up these bars with uh, shields, or health, or money. And when you do that, you get to buy things that are power-ups. So the trick comes in arranging the board in such a way that you can make the longest lines possible. Well, that's pretty good. Which I just did. And you gotta connect the sword and the monsters to kill the monsters. Yes. Or connect the shields, or the money, or the health, so that you have better So that you're stronger, better, faster, more powerful. Now there's no time limit, so they're not rushing you through each step. You can take your time. Yes, right? that is exactly correct. And you only get one life, and that health bar on the right side, once it goes down to zero, you're this screwed. Guy, hey, you leveled up, it's an RPG. Yeah, I get some stuff to buy. So I can buy like one Charisma, off. charisma, charisma. Charisma's always a losing proposition. Charisma, charisma. I get two. So you can choose like one off things that are power ups that you can use once or twice, or you can level up your base damage. Permanent buff. Permanent buff. Always permanent buff. Not, that's, sometimes that is not a good idea, but in I this see case, good money train, good money I train. agree. Look, who's got the money? Should I show you the money, Mr. Chan? That's a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Monsters so, be attacking. Um, I've been playing this game pretty much nonstop since I got it. It is actually an iPhone game, uh, but it works on the iPad, it looks pretty good. It seems like it's iPhone 4 native. Oh my God, what should I do? I want more HP. I'm gonna do a rusty broadsword, backsword. I can't read, It's my secret. Uh, yeah, so that's it. This is the whole game. You just keep doing this over and over again, and it is inexplicably compelling. Is this expensive? Uh, I do not remember, but any price you could pay for this game would be worth it. $100. I would not pay $100 for this game, but I would pay five. 
Uh, so here's some more upgrades. There's different upgrade trees, different tech trees. You can upgrade armor. There's all sorts of crazy stuff you can do. I want spikes, because why would you not have spikes if you have the choice of getting spikes? Hey, Boba Fett helmet. Boba Fett, you can get the helmet later. Spikes and pink armor. Why do you hate pink armor, Anna? Norm, the frog wants you to dissect oh, him. I do not like dissecting frogs. Dissect the frog, Boy, Norm. These apps, largely unimpressive. Although high except, profile. Except, except Dungeon Raid. Dungeon Raid. I've already played five games since we've done this. What's your high, what's your high score? High score only 4,000. Oh, fuck, that's way better than mine. 4,000. High rating.